We shall try and see the impact strain testing procedure with the help of an animation to understand it better. Using a notch cutter equipment, which is a tool which is similar to either a lathe machine or a milling machine cutter, a V-shaped notch is created in the sample. Now the angle of the V-shaped notch is going to be 45 degree. A blank test is conducted to calibrate the instrument by releasing the pendulum or the hammer without mounting any sample in the sample wise. Such a test is carried out to ascertain any frictional losses the instrument may have which will be additional to the actual energy absorbed by the sample. The notch test specimen is clamped in a way such that the notch is facing towards the pendulum. Once ready, the pendulum is released after which it strikes the specimen and breaks it. And the energy which is absorbed by the sample during this ex impact exercise is recorded by the instrument in the form of joules. Using the values such as thickness, width and the energy absorbed, the impact strength is calculated using the formula. If we are expressing it in joules per meter, the formula will be energy absorbed divided by the thickness of the sample and if we are expressing the results in joule per centimeter square the formula will be the energy absorbed divided by the cross section area of the sample. Now the cross section area that we are talking about is below the V notch the amount of sample the amount of rectangular cross section which is left below the V notch. Let us try and understand why the blank reading is so important. Now let us say we have a polymer which is to be used in a mobile back cover application and the requirement that the sample has to pass through is 180 joules per meter. So the specimen was injection molded and post molding it was conditioned and kept for testing. Now upon releasing the pendulum and post the strike we found out that around 0.8 joules of energy was absorbed by the sample and the sample thickness was around 4 mm. Now applying the formula which is the energy absorbed by the sample divided by the thickness. So the thickness in 4 mm is converted into meters and we get to see that uh, 0.8 joules is divided by 0 0.004 meters and the value of impact strength that we are getting is 200 joules per meter. So it is pretty much above 180 joules per meter which is the requirement for the application. Now upon usage we found out that the sample failed. Now while doing the YY analysis it was determined that the blank reading was neglected and then the blank reading was carried out which is also known as the frictional energy loss that we can have in the machine and it was determined that the value came out to be 0.2 joules. Hence the actual energy that the sample had absorbed was around 0.8 minus 0.2 joules which comes out to be around 0.6 joules. And hence the impact strength is 0.6 divided by 0.004 that is 150 joules per meter which is much lower than 180 joules per meter which is the actual requirement for the sample to pass. And this is why you would find that in every quality control lab the first person who is operating the machine in the day which is most probably the first shift which starts from roughly around 7 am in the morning. Of course, depending on the industry, you would find that the first person who is operating the machine will carry out this blank reading and this will be considered as a standard for that particular day. So we can also term it as the calibration for the day.